40 years ago, folks in our region came together to do something about the impact of coal strip mining in our community. They were fed up with soil erosion from strip mining, the pollution from runoff, and the destruction of our fertile agricultural land. They formed the Illinois South Project to work together as stewards of the land, and they organized at the grassroots across southern and central Illinois to talk to lawmakers about what strip coal mining was doing to family farmers and rural communities and to our land and water. They knew if we take care of this land, it will take care of us. And in 1977, they helped pass a monumental federal law that regulates the environmental impacts of coal strip mining. The Illinois South Project eventually evolved into the Illinois Stewardship Alliance, but our mission remains the same today, to keep family farmers as stewards of this land. Our work has never been more important. In the last few decades, we've lost millions of family farmers. Rural communities are struggling and cheap food is available, but nutritious food is out of reach for many working families. Diet-related diseases like diabetes and heart disease are on the rise, and our great rivers and waterways are suffering from agricultural pollution and erosion. But the last decade has seen the most exciting turnaround in our food system. Illinois Stewardship Alliance is the only statewide organization making change on all three fronts. Building our local food system, getting more conservation practices on the land, and advocating for food and farm policy at the state and federal level. Through our conservation program, we've reached 270 farmers at field seminars just this year to learn about conservation practices. Woody, our conservation uh, associate and a farmer himself, produced 21 films featuring a dozen soil health champion farmers from across the state that provide training on how to implement conservation practices right on your farm. I really started off with ponds and then got into riparian buffers to protect the bottomland and, and continue today with cover crops and no-till. Well, with no-till, it, it certainly has uh, spurred the, uh, the earthworm activity on my farm. I'm starting to see some yield increases you know, from the cover crops. Between less machinery usage, fuel usage, I'm losing less soil, therefore I, I'm starting to build organic matter back up. And I have seen a 5 to 10% increase in yields over time. At our market, we raise money to be able to match every dollar spent by food stamp recipients at the market. And this year we're on track to provide nearly $8,000 for food stamp recipients to use on fresh fruits and vegetables. Our matching program makes wholesome food affordable for people who really need it the most and gets money in the hands of local farmers. The Illinois Sewage Alliance does really great work throughout the state and we've been very happy to partner with them with one of our Double Value Coupon grants. We can do up to $25 and we'll match it. So you get $25 in tokens, we give you an additional $25 that are used on fresh fruits and veggies, and you take that and you essentially have $50 to spend at our market. The SNAP program, um, I believe, enables some people that wouldn't normally purchase from my farm to purchase from my farm. It's encouraging to see them come down and spend the money on items that are, that are not only healthy, but helping the community as a whole. We created and printed a Buy Fresh, Buy Local directory with over 100 farms and farmers markets and farm-to-table restaurants throughout central Illinois that makes it really easy to find local food and farms near us. The Buy Fresh, Buy Local guide is great because it's kind of like a phone book um, of local vendors, so I don't have to, you know, punch everything into the Google machine and then go from there. So I have one at the shop, and it's a great way just to kind of have a resource right there. Well, with the Buy Fresh, Buy Local, um, I've gotten, I don't know, I mean, it's probably hundreds of people contacted me. It's a definite way to connect the customer with, with my farm. And we're advocating for local food and sustainable farming in the 2018 Farm Bill that's up for debate right now in Congress and for policies that will level the playing field for family farmers and support the production of wholesome local food and not just conventional crops. I always enjoy visiting farmers markets 
throughout my district, not only to uh, buy produce and, and shop, but also to see, you know, see them in action because it's important for every member of Congress like me who serves on the House Agriculture Committee, who has jurisdiction over our SNAP program and the Double Bucks program that I got to see here today. It's important to go out into your district and, and see how that affects our constituents, see how it gets healthy foods into the homes and at the tables. Through our policy work, we passed 14 bills into law since 2009, addressing everything from compost to cottage food to seed libraries, and we've laid the foundation for the growth of the local food and farming system in Illinois. So the last two years have been really fun and exciting for Illinois Stewardship Alliance working on policy for farmers markets. Uh, we've passed the uh, Healthy Food Incentives Fund through the Illinois State Legislature that makes um, our SNAP match part of the Illinois budget. We've worked on the Food Freedom Bill which expands the Cottage Food Act uh, here in Illinois so that opens up a ton of new opportunity. It's going to address food waste. Um, and help help start up some new businesses. The Stewardship Alliance has allowed us to have a resource to be able to go to when we need some guidance. Well, if we want to see our, our natural resources uh, be protected, we need to make sure that there are people that are championing those issues. We have to have that voice there and speak up for the things that matter. And so the way that we can accomplish that is to speak with decision makers who have that ability to uh, to, to put some funding towards one thing versus another. When the legislators are in town, farmers are busy, uh, ag retailers are busy. We can't always get in there to tell our story. And so the Stewardship Alliance, they've got their folks in there telling all of the farmer stories, whether it's a small farmer or whether it's a big farmer. Well, they've certainly exposed me to, to other facets of this industry. There's just a big community of, of, of innovators that I've been able to network with. We're always stronger when we work together. So finding organizations that uh, have values and, and a mission that you believe in are one way that you can really amplify your voice and connect with others that share your same values. So we're working not just on your behalf, but also with you and uh, provide opportunities for our members to get involved, uh, come to lobby days, and really participate as part of our community. We want you to be part of our, our family and our work. I'm proud to be a member and to work for Illinois Stewardship Alliance. We're building a bridge to the, to the future food system. I want to be able to take my sons to the grocery store in our town and to see shelves lined with food from local farmers and made and grown in our state. Good, fresh produce ought to be what's affordable and accessible for everybody. And to get there, we have to do the three pieces of work that the Alliance has shown that we can do. Make markets for farmers, get sustainable practices on the land, and change policy. The issues have changed over the last 40 years, but the need to come together in our region and to organize at the grassroots remains the same. We want a food system that's just and sustainable. It will take all of us to build the power to make it happen. Mm -hmm.